All right, hello everyone, my name is Enzo Dan, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We are back in our previous game, we are back in the Marian Ostrom expansion as Genoa. It's been a while since we played this, I think it's been almost a month. Basically because of the Rights of Man expansion that we have been playing a bit more uh, as Burgundy. Looks like in this game Burgundy has been doing very well, nice. Um, so yeah, back to Genoa. Um, I did watch uh, about half of my own video, of my last video uh, just to get back into the uh, into the game here into the actual uh, state of this particular game and I think yeah what we were thinking what were we thinking well we were thinking about maybe starting a war with Burgundy uh, so that we could get to Venice because there's those guys are allies uh, yeah because there's a lot of wars going on in Europe basically let's see Burgundy is at war with a bunch of dudes basically losing very very badly so I think it's getting close to ending that war minus 87 war score there Venice is in a war winning with Austria and Austria is having a bad time of it uh, let's see the Papal State are in that same war I think I know it's a different war altogether and Venice oh is that their own war score I think that's what's happening there yeah so Opportunities here, and that is what we have been waiting for for quite a long time. Actually, I think we'll unmothball for our, um, our forts. We've got ten forts. Why? Is it all? What? Where do we have those forts? Is that? Genoa, Peru. These are all colonies, right? So I don't think those count. No, I don't see any signs that would indicate that I see one two three forts here that's four this by the way we've been doing quite a lot of work in terms of colonization this is amazing very good still no forts though I have no idea what's going on uh, they must be somewhere uh, they might be here actually there's two more okay so what we will probably do is just manually activate these... Oh, there's a fort. Okay, so that's four. These four forts. There you go. And that's probably good enough. Um, let's see, we are at four. Let's... Yeah, automatically raise maintenance. No. Let's not do that because I want to not activate the other forts there. Although we do have a lot of money, which is good to see. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, how's our maintenance at the moment? It's actually f fully down. I think we'll raise it probably to full because I'm feeling that we might be jumping into a war pretty soon here. Um, let's see. Burgundy is actually not jumping in here. Right, the Papal State is the problem if we attack uh, Venice. How's the Papal State doing? I just want to quickly get up to speed, even though I ha I did actually watch that video. I, I still feel like I have to know a bit more information here be before I can actually safely jump into any war. Uh, the Papal State, apparently, yes. Oh, that's 18.8k, right. 41k troops. That's not massive, uh, but it's still something that we have to keep in mind. And how about Venice itself? 44k as well, right. I think I said that before. I think uh, what we should be trying is probably uh, getting those guys uh, to not hook up together so that they, uh, so that we might be able to take them. This is a bit of Venice army there. I really like to know where the rest of the, of the uh, Papal State army is. Because the Papal State is not an option for us because of the... Um, powerful ally here especially Great Britain and Holland as well I think well I mean it's all right are they in any sort of war no they aren't okay why are they threatened by us we aren't even there well we might be close to them in the new world that's probably it okay <sighs> because if there is an option that we can take the papal state I would really rather do that than uh, Vanus than taking on Vanus because this is actually the way I want to want to go can we, that's another question, can we actually form Italy? Mm, construct the keel, okay, so connect, oh, okay. 
Well, it's kind of canals. Uh, form Italian nation. Ancona. I think we don't have that. No, Roma, Firenze, Verona, and Milan. That's going to be fine. See, what I want to know, if there's anything down here that we need to own that is actually owned by uh, Spain at the moment. Where's Ancona? I don't know where Ancona is. Should be there, right? Okay, so that's Papal State territory. Um, Roma, that's doable. Firenze is right over there, I think, yes. Just checking this. Uh, Verona, I think we checked that. That's right over there, Verona. And what else do we have? We've got Milan. That's that's going to be over here somewhere, right? So actually nothing that we need from Castile. So trying to take some stuff from the Papal State seems like a good idea at this moment. Ooh, they have a cathedral. Very nice. And... I mean, they have a 10 stack here. That's going to be an easy pickoff. But where's the rest of their troops? We've got Venice there. Because they are in this war, right? Yeah. Mainz, Transylvania, and Liege. So they are probably out there somewhere. Which gives us a good opportunity to actually do some sieging here. Right. I think we'll just get it to go for now. See what's going to happen. CB Timbuktu. Poland will cede some stuff to Bohemia. Okay, so Bohemia is becoming a real powerhouse. Um, how is our alliance structure looking at the moment? That's a good question. We've got a cat awake here. Oh dear. Uh, we've got Bosnia, a leading vassal. Ottomans alliance. That's interesting. We've got Brittany and Theodoro. We don't have Bohemia though. Even though they like us. They are allied with the Ottomans as well. Uh, I sort of for forgot what the problem was with the Bohemia Alliance because I know that we've done that before. And I know that they are the Emperor. Right? They, they are the Emperor? Am I right? Yeah. So I was... I'm sort of thinking if we take some stuff from, from uh, Burgundy, for example, and Bohemia is our ally, then... I mean, we, we wouldn't have to give it back. At the moment, they don't want to be our ally, but it's close. Uh, there's probably something I'm forgetting here. Uh, we've got a diplomat free. I'm still working on a claim with Venice. Let's improve relations with Bohemia in anticipation for that option. And let's see if you can keep a close look at um, the Papal State and Venice here. Ah, saw some troops there. I think landing. Colonial conquests, nice. Some Phoenician troops that landed there, I think. Ah, we've got the Papal State right over there, okay. They are being attritioned, which is good for us. 17k manpower, yeah, their empire is, is draining. Don't touch the microphone, dude. You know. Venice. They, they aren't coming home, right? No. Dude, I can't see the screen, come on. Mr. Cat is so good at catching my attention and, and uh, taking it away from where it should be, which is in the game. Lubekulzit walked lands to Saxony. Okay. Still, that war is raging. We are raising our maintenance. We've got military access uh, request from Austria, which is fine. Okay, so they're leaving now. Which gives us... I guess free reign to do some sieging here, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work and if we are going to be fast enough in terms of sieging to get some meaningful stuff done before they get back to our territory here. But at least it would put them on the defensive. We could sort of block them here somewhere in the mountains where they would have to run into us. But still, I'm hoping that there will be some... Ah... Mines will be forced. Okay, so uh, Venice separate piece out of mines. I think they are still in that war. Yeah, we have to have hopefully have some kind of big battle here, where a lot of Burgundy, uh, Bur Burgundinese, Burg Burgund Burgundian, Burgundian. That's probably it. Burgundian troops with uh, Parish or Venetian or the Papal State troops. The Papal State troops. That's a thing. Um, 
Fen is still jumping in. The Almonds are basically useless at the moment. We could offer an alliance to Bohemia and that would actually allow us the option to get some stuff from Burgundy in a peace deal. So as I said, I'm not sure why we don't have that alliance anymore. Burgundy is still 28k and 90k uh, troops in the bank. Um, okay, so that might actually be a better option here. Even though we would want to get some stuff from, Papal, from the Papal State. How's Switzerland doing, by the way? Right, that's the problem, because Bohemia will jump in anyway, but they won't actually here. And actually, this province is part of the HRE, but this one isn't. And these aren't either. So that would give us options to uh, to do some stuff here. We could just take this province and, and be done with it and take some stuff from Burgundy, even though they have parts that are in the HRE. And is Burgundy part of the HRE? That's uh, another question that I don't really know the answer to. I don't think they are, because that means that probably the Emperor wouldn't even ask back unlawful territory okay how's our troop levels we are 55 out of 58 um how's our oh we've got a bunch of cannons which actually seems a bit too steep at the moment i'm not sure uh let's just add some dudes so bring these losing badly papal state is out there somewhere in venice well, I suppose we could go for uh, could go for Venice and then try and get Milan and Verona, because those would be what we would need to form Italy, and then also get some stuff from Burgundy. Because Burgundy is is I mean it's, it's barely a target at the moment. They are being utterly defeated. Um, I think we will switch to that. Let's go to. Well, let's wait a second until those recruits are done. Actually, no. Uh, we'll move there right now, and those recruits can come later. Okay, recall. So therefore, I don't think it's necessary to form an alliance with Bohemia. It's not going to add anything. Look at all those troops, damn. Threat and war accepted. Poland accepted demand for province Lip Lipetsk to be transferred to Russia. That's amazing. Okay, let's keep it going. <laughs> um, Papal State and Venice. I will keep watching their troop levels. They've actually risen. Uh, still 90k total, which we wouldn't be able to take. It's clear. Um, let's you go to Savoy. Be ready for an assault on Burgundy. Where is their capital? Probably this, right? Yeah, Bourgogne. Makes sense. Mm, some rebels, but not a problem. Uh, transports, right? Okay. A great philosopher has, has died. Uh, okay, we'll get a new one. Level 3, Yuri Prestige plus 1. I'm gonna go with the National Tax Modifier plus 2. I think that's gonna be more important. The plus 2 dude, I mean. Okay. So, we are in a position to attack Burgundy. Do we have a claim? I think we do. Yes. And Venice will jump in. We will not be co belligerizing them. I think Venice is actually the more important target in this war. Venice, no, that's Nassau. 46k, that's actually, it's pretty bad. I'm not sure if we can take them. Uh, on our side, no one will jump in. Which is a shame. We could just do some sieging and then get back to, uh, to Venice. And attack them. 
Uh, well, actually, we would be able to take them, by the way, now that I look at it. Uh, I think we'll do that right now. Should we maybe get you guys to Milan? This is farmlands, which is a shame. Is Milan your capital? No, it isn't. It's probably Venice itself, right? Yeah, Venezia. Okay. But we would want Milan and Verona because of the Italy thing. Okay, I think that makes sense. Is Novara, does it have a fort? Uh, I don't think it does. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so we can just move through here and then go to Milan. Which does have a fort. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, we'll take another leader. Whoa, this is a beast. Um, but he is a, um, a conquistador, which is not optimal, I think. So we'll get you as well. We have too many leaders, but that's fine. They're good leaders as well. Okay, I think this is probably the best time to declare on uh, Burgundy. And the Papal State will probably have to wait. Such a good opportunity here to get some stuff. I'm not sure if the Emperor will ask for stuff back. Do we have a claim on the Shalawa? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think we do. No. Okay. And that will give us the opportunity here to actually take two provinces from Venice as well. Right. How's our aggress expansion? Is at zero, of course. Okay, so let's let's just do this. Let's see what's gonna happen, right? I wanna make something happen. We will take Franche Conti. And that will give us one hundred percent oh, it's one hundred percent for everything. Is there anything that we can do to lower that a bit? Not really, I think. No. Uh, I'll just go for the France Comte. Brittany won't join in. Venice will jump in, which is how we would like it. I should check in to see where the uh, Burgund Burgundian troops are. Because um, I would rather have probably half of these troops with this stack and then use this stack to do some sieging and the other stack to defeat Venice. I think that's probably how it's going to go. Uh, let's do this for now. Here we go, guys. Yeah, mothballed forts. I know. Benkin and then Kiara Genoa. Ooh, that's not good. Huh? Where's Genoa? It's right over there. There you go. Anything else? Uh, some distant stuff. Okay, let's take a look at Bur Burgundian force limits here. Force levels. Burgundy. 15k. So, let's probably... Yeah, this seems like a, a normal good stack. Let's get the war goal. And let's you guys move to there. And you guys... I don't know. Uh to there as well probably and you go there as well okay so now we need to keep a close eye on where the uh, Venice troops are Venetian troops and by the way where are do we have our ships I think they should be going home at war because of uh, Venetian fleets yes let's do that you will be at home as well you just go home that's that's gonna be fine dude you can come back at a later point you will get the worst war goal is this where the fort is no it isn't it's actually in the capital of course okay how is the capital looking it's got a garrison but it's um it's actually depleted from the previous war which is by the way over at the moment i think they lost a bunch here yeah, probably. Okay, so you probably just move through there. And we will get Milan. Okay, so now... We've got the Battle of Bourgogne. Oh, we can't actually seize this with this amount of troops. That's a shame. So we'll just get there. Do some sieging there. Oh! Stop it. Uh, what? No! 
27 noble regiments revolt in Albenga. Where is Albenga? It's right over there. That is very, very much a shame. Okay, um, we'll probably get you guys to go there and, and just quell that first. But that really is a shame. At least we got Novara. That is the worst timing. Come on. Okay. All right. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Oh, this is derpy. Go away. And move back. Okay. Let's first get that rebellion. Yeah, we got the wiggle. You will probably... Oh, come on. Detach the siege and... I don't know. Move over there and there. Just do some troop sweeping. You're almost there. There's a revolt. Okay. Ah! We have the Venice stack. You're going to Waldstata. Probably trying to go there. Which is a shame because our main force is now occupied there. Okay. Brabant joins the Republic. That's good for them. Netherlands have inherited the throne of Brabant. We are actually losing this fight. That is not good. <sighs> okay, we won that. That's that is actually good. We move over there. Um I think we should probably move out. Oh dear. Okay, we are actually on the back foot, as they would say it. You guys are probably gonna die. You will move back, and we will move there, and we will reinforce all together. Yeah, we lost that. Okay, they have actually merged up here. I'm not sure if we're gonna... Oh! People say it no longer considers us as their rival. I'm not sure if we're gonna come out on top here. I think you guys will probably move to... Oh, monetary access. Please. Yes. Okay. Probably move through Switzerland. We will get to the mountains as well, so that we are in a defensive position. Because I want to intercept that. Yeah, okay. 8th of August. 8th of August. Um, this can become problematic. I think we should probably get the other dude. Yeah. Although fire is pretty important, but I'm not quite sure what the penalty is for the Conquistador dude. Shock seems to be fine as well. Okay, so this sort of... It's sort of important. If we are defending here, we will have a very, very good position. If we are attacking, we will not have a good position. Venice, it looks like... I don't know. I always forget. They are named first, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. Should we just take the gamble and see what's going to happen? Oh, they're moving out. Yes, we arrived first. Okay, I'm not sure... Please, please win this. Oh, dear. We are defending, though. We have a minus two penalty. It's a good fight for us. They've got enormous amounts of reinforcements. Ah. I'm not sure, you guys. I'm not sure. Well, I'm sure we're gonna probably lose this fight. We're losing many, many men. Okay. That was not good. This war is is gonna go worse than I had hoped. I have to say. Uh, at least we do have more manpower than uh, Burgundy and Venice, probably. And I really want to try and get them separated. But I don't like how this turned out. Can we please move over there, just to reinforce ourselves and see what we can do to pick them off when they are not- oh dear, when they are not together. I think we made a mistake. Well, rather, I made a mistake. Okay, losing this, losing this. Uh, hmm. 
Papal State still doesn't like us, that's clear. Dude. I'll probably put in a cut soon. But I think we might be able to pick off some of these stacks if we just stand here and reinforce. We have our forts to protect us. We can just... Okay, yeah, Cremona, that's fine. We can try and attack into this stack and then pick them off one by one. But we still have the Venice stack over there. Benign neglect. Local trade power, local trade power, local tax, local trade power, please. Yes. That's my cat eating in the background, if you can hear that. Uh, we will not consolidate, I think. I, I just want to jump on this stack and defeat them. It should be fine. Let's do that quickly. It's not going to be fine if this stack is going to jump in. And actually, it's already not fine, okay? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, let's take a look at their manpower. This is not going as as I as well as I'd hoped. Um, Venice still has twelve point five k manpower, so that's not impressive. Um, they still do have quite a lot of men, though. How's Burgundy looking? One hundred k manpower and sixty three k dudes. See, this is not no. It's it's just not going well. And actually, I, I I really need to find a way to get out of this war. Uh. We could give you some stuff. Need a separate piece out of Venice, I think. I think that's going to be the, uh, the main thing here and see if we can take something from them. But I'm pretty sure this was not the right decision that we sh that we should have made. And we should really try and get out of this as quickly as we can. Do we have any dudes on our side that could help? Well, Bosnia is doing something. Actually, they aren't doing anything. Can you just do some sieging? Bosnia? Bosnia, do some stuff. It might help. Bosnia. Aggressive. Oh, we can set it to siege. Okay. Theodoro, aggressive. You guys are all useless because you are overseas. Yeah, I know, dude. It's bad. It's pretty bad. Okay, what we'll do is put in a cut here and, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna think of ways that we can salvage this, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty difficult. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, we could just maybe lose one or two provinces. But that would really be a shame, because those are hard-fought provinces. We, we don't really want to give them away. Uh, but there might not be another option. Looking at this... No, nah, it was just... It was a mistake to, to start this war. We'll see what you can do about it. And uh, we'll go from there. Right now, though, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you still enjoyed this video, despite my incompetence. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.